I'm Edie Lush and I'm here with Hub Culture at the Monaco Transition Forum. Gunter Pauly has just graced my presence. Thanks very much for coming along. I don't know what a grace to be next to you. <laughs> Thank you. So you're the author of The Blue Economy and we had a really interesting time on stage a few moments ago where you described some of the products that are changing or that have the ability to totally change the way we live. First of all, I want you to tell me about the diaper and why the diaper? Well, you know, being a father of six children, you know, I'm a culprit of having polluted an awful lot, so I needed to do something <laughs> about that. But I have the privilege of being the chairman of a company that is uh, uh, the largest bioplastics maker in Europe, and we're using cardoon mm -hmm. thistles as mm -hmm. a raw material. Very, people, very many people forget that actually making plastics is not so difficult. You have mm. an oil, you turn it into an acid, you have a sugar, which you turn into an alcohol, and an alcohol and an acid together gives you a plastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have to demystify this. So telling me that you need to have very complex technology to make this diaper is a thing of the past. I mm. mean, it really is not that difficult. But the content that absorbs everything that the baby leaves behind mm -hmm. um, is, uh, is an absolutely critical component. And we're using bamboo, mm -hmm. the sawdust of the bamboo. And as they know in Asia, the key thing is that you need to take care of the skin. No one wants a red bum of a right. baby rashes. because that we know the rashes, the baby will cry and we yep. don't sleep. Yep. So Been Japan there, and China uses charcoal made hmm. from bamboo. So we have these bioplastics with bamboo cellulose and charcoal. And if you have the baby's excrements with it, mm -hmm. you can turn that into a black soil, a soil mm -hmm. that is rich in carbon, 30% carbon, ideal soil mm. to actually plant trees, mm -hmm. fruit trees. Mm -hmm. So a baby produces a thousand kilograms of this black earth per year. Incredible. That gives you the chance to plant 1,000 trees. Hmm. Now, if you get 1,000 fruit trees, you get 50 kilograms of fruit in mm. 10 years' time. Mm -hmm. So the beauty is that you're turning the cycle completely around, mm. but the business model is the key. Instead of selling a diaper, you're giving it for free mm -hmm. because you're selling a tree. And 10% commission on the tree mm -hmm. pays for all the diapers you have given for free. Incredible. So it goes from the tree to a free diaper. That's one example you gave. You also gave a really interesting example of a ship with a kite uh, that you're sailing. Tell me where that ship is going and why it's so innovative. You know, you only have to see one of those big cargo mm. or cruise ships leaving port. As they're leaving port, they're behaving well and using very clean fuel. Mm -hmm. But the moment they're out there in the sea, they're pumping out the dirtiest right. uh, fumes that we can ever imagine. I mean, very few people realize that the shipping industry pollutes a multiple of all cars in the world together. Mm -hmm. And it's not surprise they hopped out out of the Paris Agreement and not in, in there. Right. So, a bit shocking. It so, is shocking, Now, actually. we can become aggressive and mm -hmm. go against, or mm -hmm. we can say, let's do better. Mm -hmm. Let's show them. Let's yeah. not convince them. Let's show them we can do better. So. Uh, a team of uh, great engineers from Switzerland put mm -hmm. their minds together and uh, created this boat that operates with seawater that thanks to solar is converted to hydrogen and filling the batteries. But you don't always have the solar available and you may run out of hydrogen as well. Mm. And therefore the third power is the kite. Mm. Now a kite is an amazing thing because 40 square meters of kite in mm. the air gives you enough pulling power to pull this boat of 100 tons, so 40 Incredible. square meters. So what we realize as well is if you go all the way up at mm -hmm. 800 meters, mm -hmm. you have wind forever. Always, there's always, always wind. So while we have too many people saying there's not enough wind, well, that's mm -hmm. because they only went to 50 or 60 meters high. Mm -hmm. You should go to 800 meters, you always have wind. And so the robot in the kite mm -hmm. allows you to continue to generate. Mm -hmm. Now, if you can do that with a kite and pull a boat, you can power any coastal city in the world, mm. anytime. The beauty of the system is that actually when you're having the hydrogen plus the kite, you have all the power you need, but you're producing drinking water. Hmm. And if you have power in drinking water, you can take care of food. So 
What we're basically saying is if you have an island, do you have sun? Do you have sea? Do you have wind? Mm -hmm. Then you have water, you have energy, and you have food. Hmm. It's as simple as that. Mm. Now, unfortunately, we made everything so complex that we don't see it anymore. Mm. You know, we don't see the solutions yeah. anymore. And therefore, we thought the best way to go forward is to put it all on a boat, mm -hmm. go to the islands, show how it works, Take and say, if you would like to, let's do it together. Hmm. So, what I love about your solutions is that they're actually incredibly simple. It doesn't have to be complex, but how do you scale it? How do you think the, the route is, what do you see the route is to scaling the, some of the solutions you've talked about, 98 more in your book, uh, to really change the way we all operate? There are two ways, and they need to be together. The first way is, of course, you have to inspire children. Mm -hmm. If you're not inspiring children, you're not changing anything at all. Mm -hmm. You need to provide the children this very clear story every day that there's an incredibly different solution possible. Mm. Today, the children are bombarded with bad news. I mean, bombarded. Yeah, it's incredible. So we have the bad news about this. We have the tweets about that. We have the Facebook so-so. And what we think is important, we need to tell a great story every day to every child. Mm. That's number one. But two, we need to unlock the finances. Mm -hmm. The unlocking of the finances cannot be done with the financial models that we've used in the past. We can't write business plans and say this is better. We have to have a new type of investor. So we've been privileged to work the last years with what we call legacy investors. Mm -hmm. People who mm -hmm. are committed to change the world and who are ready to look at 20 25 years down the road. Hmm. Now, of course, if you're a child and you're a parent, you think 25 years ahead. Yeah. So we need to put that investment that every parent is doing in the child and the child expecting this wonderful world that they will be able to contribute to, hmm. that needs to be matched by a financial system. And that system today is not there. It's cryptocurrencies, mm. it's about uh, the, the opportunity to have high returns with high risks mm. where money makes money on money and we think that needs to change. And so our projects have fortunately benefited from that big shift around in going in that direction. And do you see that that's, there's enough of that kind of smart investment, informed investment to make a difference? There is enough money. Mm -hmm. We need to show that the money, that there's another way to use the money. Yeah. And that will only be possible by concrete projects. Mm -hmm. You don't have something concrete, yeah. you're selling air. And air is only to be compressed and put into a car so you can drive very clean. Gunter Pauly, thank you very much for stopping by the Hub Culture spot here in the Monaco Clean Transition Forum. And I'm Edie Lush. Thank you.